The Orion Nebula is one of the closest star-forming regions visible to the naked eye. It sits amidst the stars of the Orion constellation, about 1300 light-years away. The nebula was officially discovered in 1610 and is one of the most extensively studied regions of the night sky. Now, the most powerful space telescope ever built has given us a new gaze into the heart of the Orion Nebula. The new James Webb images of the nebula are the sharpest we have seen yet. They are overflowing with details compared to the Hubble images of the same. One can see numerous spectacular structures, down to the scale of 40 astronomical units, or the size of our solar system. They were obtained by the NIRCAM instrument, which works in the infrared wavelength ranging from 0.8 to 5 microns. The images are a part of the Early Release Science Program and involved more than 100 scientists in 18 countries. The process of star formation is complex and there are many things we don't know about it so far. Baby stars are born from dense clumps and clouds of dust and gas that collapse under gravity and start accumulating material from the cloud around them, forming a disk as the star spins. This protostar is shrouded by gas and dust, making it impossible to observe star formation using visible wavelengths. All that dust and gas block light from escaping to show us what's inside. However, the longer wavelengths of infrared light, the range through which James Webb views the universe, can penetrate dust, giving us a view into regions that are impossible to see in shorter wavelengths, such as the visible spectrum. And because of that, astronomers working on stellar astrophysics were quite excited about studying star formation using web data. These new observations allow us to understand better how massive stars transform the gas and dust clouds in which they are born. Massive young stars emit large quantities of ultraviolet radiation directly into the native cloud that still surrounds them, which changes the physical shape of the cloud and its chemical makeup. The new image focuses on a structure called the Orion Bar. Running diagonally from the top left to the bottom right, light from a cluster of young, hot stars called the Trapezium Cluster illuminates the scene from the top right corner. This harsh, ionizing ultraviolet light is slowly eroding the bar away. When wind or radiation from a stellar object pushes material away, it reduces star formation. In addition, complex shapes and structures are produced in molecular clouds. These include filaments and cavities, which have been captured in the new web image. The brightest star in the image is called Theta II Orionis A, and it's one member of a multiple star system next to the Trapezium Cluster, also known as Theta I Orionis. Although it appears very bright in the James Webb image, Theta II Orionis A can only be seen by the naked eye from Earth under very dark skies. Nevertheless, its luminosity is over 100,000 times more than the sun's. Its light bounces off the dust around it, creating a pretty red glow. Other objects in the image include globules, dense clumps of material with baby stars inside, and a young growing star with a disk of material around it. That disk is being evaporated from the outside by the radiation from the trapezium stars. Nearly 180 objects, called propylids, have been found in the Orion Nebula. Dense filaments can be clearly seen in the web image. These filamentary structures may promote a new generation of stars in the deeper regions of the cloud of dust and gas. Besides that, stellar systems already in formation are also a part of the image. Here is a comparison of the new image with the one taken by Webb's predecessor the Spitzer Space Telescope. Just like Webb, Spitzer was an infrared space telescope. It's evident that the new pictures are sharper and a significant improvement over the Spitzer images. 
just months into unfolding the universe, Webb is already doing wonders. Recently, the telescope captured its first direct images of an exoplanet. They show the exoplanet HIP 6426b in different wavelengths of infrared light. The small white star in each image marks the location of the parent star, and Webb could easily separate the planet from the star. The planet is approximately 12 times the mass of Jupiter and is only 15 to 20 million years old. Besides studying stars and planets in our galaxy, Webb is doing exceptionally well in extragalactic astronomy. Within its first few weeks of observations, the infrared telescope discovered several high redshift galaxy candidates that no other telescope could. Webb also focused on Irindel, the most distant isolated star found so far. We have discussed the Webb observations of Irindel in detail in the 24th episode of the Sunday Discovery series. The James Webb Space Telescope has marked the beginning of a new era in astronomy. One can only imagine what more it will discover in the coming years. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos of this series.